You guys important? Yes. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. Their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. Next. The first figure raises his hand for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. The other folk, two... The others, two folk men and an elven woman, don't look convinced. What's going on? One of the other men pointed the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. Mocking us even while he shelters his, uh, our village. Just goes to show what these fancy Edorite manners are worth. We don't take cut to that kind of treatment. Not from foreigners and especially not from Edorans. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fire you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. What the hell am I watching? This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. Something surly and raw flickers through his eyes. What, is this guy a mage? That's where you're wrong. I don't think attacking him is such a good idea. The three drunks scowl at you. And why is that? If someone's baiting you as obviously as he is, it's generally wisest to walk away. They look at each other. One of the men gives the other two a warning shake of this head before turning to you. We're done for now. But this one better watch his step around here because we're not going anywhere. With a final scowl at the elf, he turns to leave. As the three stumble away, the elf turns to you, the tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that. Awkward situation. I'm glad I could help. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. He straightens his hood, and you note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months' travel, but the leatherwork beneath it is sturdy and fine. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvuser, at your service. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and... An adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling with a caravan, but we were separated near some ruins. In Gwythan ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? A beer walk. And you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. What are you doing in Gilded Vale? An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the Magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. And you? I've been experiencing strange things of late. I'm looking for an expert on souls. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. He nods at the gnarled old tree in the center of town. His darting glance takes in the tumbled-down buildings and the fallow, rock-strewn fields. I expect that such expertise would be would be best sought elsewhere. Just how did you manage to cross those three drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did tell that one man to go fuck his sister. Ah, that. He clears his throat and adjusts his sleeves. As I tried to tell them, they misheard me. Happens all too easily after a few pints, and the accent doesn't help. I heard the same thing. For just a moment, he looks as if he's about to say something else. His expression brightens with mischief, but before he can speak, he forces a tight smile, finding his lips so hard you expect to see blood. Finally, his face relaxes and he shakes his head. 
I should speak more clearly next time. My apologies. Oh, he meant to... He was looking for a fight by the sounds of it. You don't exactly look like a settler. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. I should get going. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. So do I. Let's go then. Excellent. I shall follow you. All right, new party member. What do you like? Okay, so you are a wizard. Hmm. About the same experience points as me, so that makes life easy. Wood elf specifically. Okay, so lower might. So, oh, actually, looks like he has put a little bit into might. So that's not too bad. Let's see, pretty good dexterity, so not too bad. Hmm. Decent perception. High intelligence. Well, intellect. Alright. Looks like he's mostly leaned into lore as well. And since he's a wizard, he'll be the one mm -hmm. who demands all of the scrolls. 